Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, as you can see, we got some some bright blue sky popping up in there. Solar conditions are getting pretty good. And when those clouds break free, that sun's pretty intense. So I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the number one uh, safety concern, in my opinion, about working with the sun and how to protect yourself from any serious injury. Of course, we always know when we're building our systems, we want to put in uh, fuses and breakers and the right size wiring and whatnot. But <clears throat> number one consideration, especially for uh, when you get to be a little older, uh, That's your body and your skin. You get to be in your 60s and you spent a lifetime of working and playing in the sun. And in my case, we're not protecting yourself against that. Uh, you'll start to grow some weird stuff on your body. And when you start to see doctors and whatnot, squamous cell carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma, and even melanoma becomes... Uh, part of the equation from not paying attention to sun exposure, uh, especially in your younger age. And it comes back to bite you when you're a little bit older. So, yeah, that's my main thing. Number one thing I would say now, I mean, you're going out there, you're setting up your solar panels, uh, you're out in the sun, you need to be covered up. <clears throat> and like right now, the UV index even though it's kind of cloudy right now, it's still about a 10. The minute those clouds move out, it gets up to about 11 or 12 to where uh, you can burn your skin very quickly. And even one severe sunburn in your lifetime increases your risk of melanoma uh, by an awful lot. So here's what I do. I keep my body completely covered up. I'm wearing jeans, I've got boots on, I've got an SPF 50 shirt, an SPF 50 gloves on me, a hat and sunglasses to protect the eyes as well. And this is my typical outfit to wear when I'm outdoors working on any aspects of the solar system. Don't fool yourself to think that if it's a real cloudy, dark day that you're not being radiated, you are. And a lot of you guys that are getting up in your 60s or older, like I am, uh, you know what I mean. You start growing uh, barnacles and all kinds of things on you that need to be cut off, frozen off, burned off, whatever. But uh, you will pay the price of too much sun exposure. Uh, that I can guarantee you. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's the number one safety. Number one safety issue I can think of is when you're out in the sun, protect yourself. Now, out here in Hawaii, you know, it's, it's near 80 degrees right now. So wearing all of this extra clothing is, is warm for working for sure. Uh, some of these lighter weight uh, SPF protection type of clothing are a little more breathable than others. <clears throat> this one I've been wearing around for a long time. You've seen it in a lot of my videos. It's dirty. I don't care. I'm going out there to get dirty and roll around. But it protects the skin completely. Nothing gets through here. Uh, I typically avoid working in the sun uh, when it's at its highest point and just being very relentless but if I have to go out there and do anything I make sure I'm covered up and that includes my hands every part of my body I don't want the sun touching my skin anymore I've suffered enough damage from it and as long as they keep coming after me with a knife I'm going to uh, try to avoid that as much as I possibly can so yeah 
you're out there building your systems, like right now, you would think, oh, yeah, it's kind of dark and gray. Eh, there's plenty of radiation getting onto your skin. So, <clears throat> yeah, the number one thing I can think of to protect yourself, especially, you know, you're out there building your solar array and uh, all the things that we do out there to live on solar, the number one safety concern is definitely take care of your skin. Because if the sun is hitting it directly, you are damaging your skin. There is no, there is no healthy uh, amount of sun to be getting. Uh, you know, people would say, oh, I want to lay out there and get my vitamin D. There's plenty of other ways of getting your vitamin D. The sun hitting your skin, and if your skin changes any kind of color, that is skin damage. And, you know, when I was younger, I got tons and tons of sunburns. It was kind of a rite of passage at summertime, golfing, fishing, surfing, whatever it was. I was pretty ignorant uh, about it and then uh, invincible because of my youth. And I'm here to tell you that will catch up with you in some older age, guaranteed. So, yeah. That's the number one thing I can think to tell you guys. And I feel so strongly about this. I don't make a big deal on a lot of my videos about look at the links below if you want to purchase this product or that. Uh, <clears throat> I figure those of you that are interested will just look. This is one I'm going to say. I'm going to point you down for some sun protection clothing down in the description. The things that work for me. The hands. I use these for driving too. That sun comes in on the windshield in one day of going to town on a supply run or whatever. I come back, I've got some weird stuff growing on my hands. So, I don't expose myself to the sun at all. And the few times that you've seen me running out there with shorts or something on, I mean, I've spent just seconds in the sun and I shouldn't even been doing this, doing that at this point. So anyway, cover yourself from head to toe. Number one safety feature. Too much sun can be very dangerous. Very dangerous. Cover your head. <clears throat> cover your eyes. Cover all exposed skin. Jeans work well. Jeans have a good UPF factor. I'm just wearing blue jeans. No sun's getting through there. Got my work boots on. A regular t-shirt doesn't have any real value of protecting yourself from the sun. So that's not enough. And these, these type of shirts here now, I mean, you can get these for like 20 bucks. They work absolutely fine. If you are going to work out in the sun, you can work out there. And uh, you will not get burned. So, for any of this type of stuff, there are links in the description. Please cover yourself up. You'll thank me when you get older if you're not running to the surgeon all the time. All right. Aloha. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, start when you're younger. <laughs> all right. Aloha.